So we've got a little 15, well, actually 155D Yanmar tractor here. We had looked at this starter for the customer, but it still has a grinding problem. So the customer brought it to us to check it out and see if we can determine what's going on. One thing I see for sure is, before we even get to the starter, it's got a, a magnet alternator here, which is just, I mean, that belt is not, there's no way that could run that. So we've got to deal with that. Also, the belt's extremely loose. So we'll deal with that to get the charging cir circuit working properly. So here's our starter here. Let's just see if we can make the sound. A relay on here to carry the load for the solenoid away from the key. But let's see what, what we've come up with here. So far, so good. Right there, that's his problem. It just ground right there and it should never do that. The starter seems to turn fine. That's a compression release. Right there. That's what we gotta see if we can fix. So we got the Yanmar uh, charging system apart here, and this wire is just melted all the way from the battery connection. It's just a bad deal there. Um, so we've torn this apart. We're going to rebuild this and utilize this connector and solder us a new wire in here. And one thing I want to point out is make sure that you get this shoulder right. This is an insulator. So that insulator is going to go over this and then this on top. So I'm going to just, I got a, just a simple 12 volt test light hooked across the two wires. We give this a spin and it lets us know that this is working. And the bearings sound good in this too, so not terrible that way. So we're ready to put this back on. We had to backtrack a little bit on this, uh, AC charging system on this uh, Yanmar tractor. I fixed this here and did a repair on the wires and had to do all that so I could check this regulator. So this, the way this is was wound, our yellow wire here and our battery, this was a single phase regulator, single phase AC battery and ground. Well, once I did that and got it in the test bench, this did not work, it overcharged. So I thought, well, I'm just going to backtrack and make this one of our systems, which utilizes both AC lines, which is right here. So these little wires right here, there and there is the two-phase AC. And this I'm doing away with. I'm not going to use it. So I've attached a cord to this with solder and heat shrink. And I'm going to come out and mount this on the tractor. <clears throat> And our two AC wires go here and here off this and then battery and then base ground. And I've got a plug in in there to do that. So that, that should work real good. We'll show you that when we get it together. So here was another problem. This stud screws into here and then the starter has two nuts that hold it on. Well, when this was in here, we could not get the starter out without taking the soil filter off. So. I went ahead and removed this stud and I'm going to change it to a bolt so that you can get the starter in without taking this filter off. I'm not sure why they did that, but we're going to fix it different. So here's a starter apart and it looks like from the 
witness mark on here. It does have good depth into the flywheel. But I'm going to maybe see if I can build a different starter completely for this. Maybe a gear reduction and try to get that to engage better. I never have thought much of this type of fork system here. It's on these Hitachis. So we've got a little problem with the flywheel as well. I'm not sure it's totally worth changing yet. We're going to try to use a different starter maybe and address that problem. Okay, we've got the Yanmar finished up here. This tractor is probably late 70s, early 80s, and a lot of things are discontinued from it. It came in for a grinding problem on the starter, on the flywheel, which we figured out that problem. <clears throat> the, uh, the glow plug circuit is tied into the start circuit. So the glow plug is robbing a lot of power from the solenoid for it to engage with authority into the flywheel. So we separated that and we put in a starter button and uh, had the key switch activate the glow plug. So the starter is getting full power during crank time. Besides the starter problem, we found out that the charging system was charging 18 volts. You can see that the, the lights here are all burned out because they didn't like 18 volts at all. So the belt was very poor shape. You could not even tighten this, this just slipped. There's no water pump. This is again, a permanent magnet alternator. And as we talked about here, there's no regulator for this anymore, unavailable. We redid the wiring from the from the permanent magnet alternator and reconfigured that so it would work with our regulator rectifier. So one thing about these older tractors is that the key switch doesn't shut the engine on and off. That's done by the injector pump over here, this throttle lever, which controls the injector pump. So we put some labeling on here so the customer can see where to have the throttle during crank time, which this needs to be about right there. And then we'll just turn it on and nothing happens with that because we put in a, we put in a start button. But what you can do, we've got it labeled, you can go to here and count to 10 seconds or 20 seconds, depending on how cold it is, and then fire it up. Let's just uh, fire it up here and see how it sounds. Also want to mention that uh, we cleaned out the air filter it was very dirty added some engine oil and you can hear by the way it starts now that it, it cranks just fine the uh, starter drive engages in the flywheel great so we got this one fixed it's all ready to go 